Hello, and welcome to the Monday, November 16th, 2020, Monday Motivator. Before I say anything else, I'm going to talk about the fact that this video looks a little bit like a hostage video from a bad action flick. You see, right now it's so windy outside that I just couldn't record. I try as I might, I could not record. And my wife and I were talking, we knew situations like this would happen every now and then, so we are presently in the process of trying to build me a studio in the basement that I can use for days that uh, are too windy. When I say studio, what I mean is some lighting and such, such as this is what it looks like without the lighting. <laughs> a little different, right? And this is what it looks like with the lighting. So hopefully in the next few weeks, you're going to see vast improvement rather than just a mason brick wall behind me. But today I would like to introduce you to another member of the Terrell household. I talk about Clive, my dog, fairly frequently because I'm a dog person. I know some of you are not dog persons people. You might be a cat person. I am one of those people that I love and appreciate our cats, but I don't love and appreciate cats in general, whereas I love all dogs. Never met a dog I didn't like. Um, so I want to introduce you, though, to one of our cats. This is Helen. Now, the reason she's named Helen is twofold. She's deaf, and uh, we're from the great state of Alabama, and one of our heroes is a lady named Helen Keller, who was deaf and blind. Ironically enough, Helen, our cat, is now blind also. She wasn't when we got her, but she is now, so I'm not sure if her name It was a bit of a, a prophecy. What I know is that uh, she has a urinary tract infection right now, and if you have ever had to medicate a cat, you know how awful it is. Helen desperately needs us to medicate her. It's the only way she's going to get better. But every time we try to medicate her, she puts up a fight. She's not a very big cat, but while she may be strong, she is fierce. We have to wrap her up in a towel, and one of us has to hold her while the other one takes the syringe of antibiotics and uh, squirts it into her mouth, hoping that we get enough in her. She fights all the time, even though we are trying to help her. We have her best interest in mind. As caregivers, you are used to, to taking care of others, but some of us struggle with, with being taken care of ourselves. There are times where we need others to help us. That is just a fact of life. And yet so often, we struggle with allowing other people to help us. My faith in, in the book of James teaches me the following. It teaches me, uh, Therefore, confess your sins to, to each other and pray for each other so that you might be healed. For the, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Again and again, there are examples in my faith of one person helping another. We need to allow ourselves to be helped. And again, as a caregiver, I know you are used to being the helper rather than the one who receives help. But it's okay to receive help. It's good to receive help. And sometimes we just desperately need to receive that help. Instead of fighting against it, why not allow it? Instead of, of trying your hardest to not be helped, why not allow someone just to help you? I think life goes better that way. I'm Chaplain Robert, and I hope you remember that our CEO cares for you, and so do I. Have a wonderful week, okay?